Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday, the 17th of January. I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Robert Maxwell presents football equipment to Bath United Football Club. And in our feature for this evening, SKN moves Nevis Chapter to host fourth annual bike race. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. I am Shalisa Martin-Clark, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs. The Population and Housing Census provides a wealth of information that speaks to a country's demographic, social and economic profile. For us in the Ministry of Health, it provides us with information on the various health conditions that are affecting our population. In other words, it gives us a snapshot of our disease burden profile which over the years have been the non-communicable diseases. Diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, cancers, and cardiovascular diseases. This information would then help us to evaluate existing programs and plan new ones where necessary, geared at targeting some of these risk factors. I can think of two health projects which made use of some census data. The My Healthy Plate project that was implemented in the primary schools here on Nevis. The project focused on the food groups, nutrition and portion sizes. Children learned from a very early age the importance of eating nutritious, adequate portion meals. Also, the Ministry of Health in collaboration with the Taiwan ICDF would have embarked on a holistic public health chronic disease prevention and management program in order to prevent and manage patients with chronic diseases more efficiently. So yes, the population and housing census is a very important and critical undertaking for any country. So I encourage everyone to take part in this very important exercise. It's me, you, us, 2021 census, hashtag be counted. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. A more comprehensive drubbing is difficult to imagine. Centuries from Virat Kohli and Shubman Gill powered India to 390 on a slow and seemingly lifeless track before the ball started hooping around on the lights. Mohamed Siraj took four wickets of test quality and Mohamed Shami and Kuldeep Yadav supported him with two each as India bowled out Sri Lanka for, guess what, 73 runs. India's victory is margin. India's victory margin was comfortably the biggest in one-day history, beating New Zealand's previous record of 290 runs against Ireland. Summary scores, India 390 for 5, Kohli 166 not out, Gale 116, Rajitha he picked up 2 for 81, Kumara 2 for 87. Beat Sri Lanka, 873 all out, Siraj picked up 4 for 32, Kuldeep 2 for 16, and so India won by all of 317 runs. What a whipping. Now to football, Robert Maxwell, who is a native of Canada but who resides in Nevis on a part-time basis, on Monday afternoon, 16 January, made a significant presentation to the Bath United Football Club. We take in this presentation ceremony. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. We are here at the Bath United Football Club grounds, and we are very happy to be here this afternoon with Max Maxwell out of Canada, and he has come forward because of he have heard he has heard of the program that we are doing here in Bath, and he wanted to be a part of it, and out of that. After speaking with uh, Frankie of Apple Cider, we organized a meeting and uh, tried to find out what the needs of the clubs were. And uh, he has not only delivered in terms of uniform for the under 13s, but also all of these equipment that you see uh, here. He has went back to Canada, prepared uh, a package in terms of boxes, boots, shin guards, soccer balls, and 
also uniforms again. And so we're very happy to have him on board and to be partnering with him. In our presence, we also have the, pres the president of uh, the club, Aisha Duggan, and also we have coaches and soccer moms, as we will call them. And we're very happy to have everyone, and more so the children, the players, they are the ones who are, I believe are very happy at this moment because some of them weren't able to play because they didn't have any shin guard, but now I think they can smile. And so at this point in time, I'm going to ask Maxwell to give a few words and then officially hand over the equipment. Thanks, Alex. Um, I wasn't, I, I didn't repair anything. So this, I'm going to be shooting from the hip here. Um, I've played sports my entire life, competitive sports, not soccer. I'm not very good. Um, so, but uh, I know the importance of sport to youth. I know what the lessons are and how important it is. Um, and I coach at home still, hockey, ice hockey, and I support minor sports, all minor sports where I'm from. So I thought if I had an opportunity to help here, because I live part-time here now, I would take that opportunity. And um, so I'm more than happy to help out and love to see kids play sports. I think it's important. And um, yeah, so on behalf of me and my family and a lot of my friends at home, because I didn't do this alone, Right, this was a group effort. This is something that I went home and, and had support at home with as well. My friend up in the stands, I purchased the jerseys. He made the jerseys, that's Kevin. And uh, so yeah, I just hope you enjoy it and um, good luck on your season. Thank you. Okay, we have come to the end of this short, little, sweet handover ceremony. And uh, I think the players are going to be searching again to see all they can have. Many of them have already done a lot of shopping and they have a lot more shopping to do. Thank you very much. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. I am Kevin Barrett, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education. The census data has helped us in planning and providing the best education for our children from early childhood upwards. Over the past years, we have introduced a number of projects that have enhanced our education product on the island. These include the expansion of the Gingerland Preschool, additional classrooms at the Ivor Walters Primary School, the Gingerland Secondary School, the Charleston Secondary School, and upgrades at all of our other schools. We have used the census data as well in our budgeting in areas such as early childhood education, special education, our school meals program, and some of our after-school programs. These projects and programs are clear indicators that the census data is indeed useful in helping us to improve
the quality of education that we offer our children. It's me, you, us, 2021 Census. Hashtag be counted. Well, I'm back, and tonight cycling is in the spotlight. The Eskane Moves Nevis chapter is set to host its fourth annual bike race on Sunday, 29th January. We get the details in this interview with Chief Coordinator Sheila James. I'm with Sheila James of the Eskane Moves Nevis chapter. They've done a marvelous job so far in terms of activities on Nevis, and this year is no exception. And so they're starting the year in January on a good note. Sheila, what's going on for January? Okay, Curtis, thank you for having me on your program. So January is here, 2023 is here, and we're expecting big things for 2023. The first of the events starts this January on Sunday, the 29th of January at the TDC Car Park. It's the two-mile bike relay under SKM Moves the Nevis chapter, sponsored in part by Ricardo Kane's Challenge Cup, NIA, Bike Nevis, and of course, Nevis Springs. So talk to us about gender, age. Is there a gender thing or an age thing or everybody can participate? Everyone can participate successfully. We've always had males and this year we're encouraging women and we've actually got one team of females which I'm really, really impressed about. We're trying to get more females on board. You still have time to register. In terms of age, we try to go with persons above 16, not below 16 for safety aspects, etc. But we are driving it hard. We've already got at least 17 persons registering and we need more. You spoke about registration, so talk to us about registration. $100 per person, who do they pay to, when do they pay by? Okay, so registration is now open. It's 20 EC dollars per person. It's teams of threes. So if I can tell you, we have three teams registered. We have TDC, first time, and we have the IT technology team that are, are entering, and we have possibly a hospital team. So if you want to be challenged, join us. $20 EC, uh, deadline per for regi person. per person. Registration deadline is Friday the 20th of January. Suppose somebody says, I'm not really a part of a cycling club or a team, so how do I get three persons in a team? Okay, so what we're doing is, as I said before, we have at least 17 persons registered. If they're not actually in a team, we will put you in a team and we'll base it on height so you don't have to worry it can be a mixed team it can be an all male it can be an all female as long as you take part that's the whole idea you take part you mentioned all male all female would you put the females to the same test grinding run as the males okay so we've decided this year that what we will do with females is the guys will have to do four laps which is standard and the females will do three laps each and we actually start them off a full minute before the actual race starts for the men okay speaking of laps <laughs> where does the action start and finish okay so we're starting at 7 a.m but we expect all our participants to arrive by 6 30 for making sure that they've got their numbers pinned on and they're in the absolute teams then we kick off from the TDC car park in town, Charlestown. We head up Hunkins Drive. You stay left and you spin round by the Catholic Church down Hospital Road, all the way down to the bottom, to the corner of where the bank, the first uh, Caribbean used to be by the head bust. Continue round back into the TDC car park to tick off your first lap. Now, what we're going to introduce this year, which we did last year and it worked very well, was we give each team a code of four letters. It'll be a word. So each time you complete a lap, you then go to the adjudicator and then you tell them what the letter is. They will tick off, then you continue until you've completed your fourth lap, hand over to the second person in your team. 
so that I'm not confused and persons who participated last year or last time don't get confused. Last time I think they made a right turn by the Catholic Church. This time they're making a left, I understand. Is it right? It's a right. Oh, it's the same. It's me. It's, oh, it's okay. me. I do apologize. I don't know my left from my right. So you continue on the right. You just keep going all the way around and head down Pass Hospital Road. Church. Pass the Anglican Church and head down Hospital Road. Thank you for that. Okay, no problem. <laughs> And um, so the date again, remind us of the date and the time and any other thing that you want to add for those persons who might be interested or even just want to come and view the race. Okay, so as I said before, we are driving this hard. We want 2023 to be probably the biggest year because it's our fourth year. Imagine four years we've been doing SKM moves and we want this to get bigger and bigger and better. If you want to take part, contact me, Sheila James, at the Health Promotion Unit on 469-8010 or pop into the office. Registration is is, uh, is open now and will conclude on the 20th of January. It's 20 EC per person. Don't worry if you're not a fantastic bike rider. It really doesn't matter. It's all about fun. It's also to encourage persons to get out and do something active. And you'll be having the Red Cross in place for people like me who may not be the best cyclist in the world. Of course, Red Cross are partnering with us as they do every year for the last four years. They'll be there at hand. The police will be there to give security and protection to all our cyclists. So, yeah, it's going to be a great event. Okay, so folks, just to remind you, it's Sunday, January the 29th, starting at the TDC Car Park. The action begins at... 7 a.m., but be there by 6. 6.30. 6.30. And it's going to be a wonderful cycling event. Last words from you, Sheila. All I've got to say is, if you miss it, you will be totally disappointed. Come out and join us. If you don't want to take part, at least come out and support those that are taking part. Thank you so much, Sheila. We look forward to the 29th. Thank you. Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton, reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.